Jello Beats, holla at me. I suck dick, I'm gay, nigga. He twirled and it dropped, nigga. Don't test me, I'ma give you top, nigga. Pull up on you, slob up on your cock, nigga. I'm a nerd inside you, then we can go shop, nigga. I suck dick on every motherfucking block, nigga. Fuck you so hard, you can't even walk, nigga. Soaking on that dick till I pass out. This podcast may contain content that might be objectionable. The views and opinions expressed in the podcasts produced on this channel are those of the individual podcasters and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of AMV Zone Podcast. Some podcasts are for mature audiences and include language not suitable for young listeners. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome to another episode of AMV Podcast. My name is Crum, also known as... Um, <laughs> the world of hollow, instinct, vice, manifester, like four names, that's it. Today we have with me, Tala, uh, also known as um, Ivory. I think right now he's just Tala as well, a snake. Okay, bro. Uh, he's uh, my baby. He's also, my baby, my baby my boy. <laughs> uh, he's this also the leader of some... I don't know. Booth, I guess. <laughs> booth, I guess. Team called the father. Buddy, you're you're in there, buddy. What do you mean? Yeah, I do be. I do be. He do be in there, facts. Yeah. So, so tell us. Would you tell us more about yourself? What are you doing here today? Well, um, I think I'm here on because I'm the leader of Aphotic, and I think a lot of people are interested in that team right now. And myself, I'm just a editor, and um, that that's really it. Yeah. Um. I mm-hmm. like to make AMVs, yeah. Okay, that's... Uh, wait, are actually a lot, there are a lot of people trying to get into a product because I do remember someone messaging you like two weeks or, ago or something. Um, there, I wouldn't say it's a lot, but there's definitely... um, uh, There's definitely... I guess there is a lot kind of... Oh, so uh, that was just lip service. <laughs> okay, okay, sure. Uh, okay. No, no, uh, but um, over time, right? It, um, I, I guess every, uh, every now and then people do apply to Aphotic. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's, it, I think it's really hard to get into Aphotic right now because um, there's, there's a lot of things we're looking for in members. So if, if someone does apply and doesn't get in, uh, it's, it's not no hard feelings towards them. It, it's not even implying that they're a bad editor. It's just that we have to look for uh, personality traits as well as we we traits. ain't that's vibing good. with you. That's why. Okay. okay. Okay, buddy, get that shit out of my face. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding, dude. No, it's it, it's just not. Uh, I, I'm not against anyone applying to Fodic. No. Okay, so if you want to get into a Fodic, we got to vibe with you. Yeah, we got to vibe with you. Like yeah, we, uh, gotta, we gotta we gotta, gotta vibe. be the okay. homie. Okay. Okay. Um, let's get you be really personal good at it. right now. Are you fine with that? Um. Sure. Uh, okay, depends, so actually. some basic yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so some basic info. How old are you? I am uh twenty one right now. Actually. Are you in college or university right now? I am in university. I'm doing computer science right now. Computer science, nice. Did you like it? I don't like it. No. <laughs> Why? Why so? It's I'm actually neutral on it. Um, I think I I haven't practiced. I mean, I I feel like the educational uh side of computer science. Is a mm-hmm. lot worse than what you do in the field itself, and I, I don't like that. Um, we have oh, to so do you like a lot of the practical unrelated. aspect of it. Yeah, yeah, because okay, a, a okay. lot of computer science is just the math of computers. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, okay, sure. Yep. Some people are just like that. Well, if you're neutral towards it, what would you like to be doing instead? What I, uh, what would I like to be doing instead? Mm-hmm. Um, I that that's why I'm doing it because I don't know what I would like to be doing <laughs> instead. Um, I would ideally I would like editing, but I don't think there's a lot of money in that. Or or maybe I might be wrong, but um, but I you guess should, I'm you should the say that to. Right wait, I forgot who was the guy who was editing. Rez? Wow. Rez? No. Oh um, no no. Um, on the previous podcast episode, I, there was someone that I forgot his name. I'm bad with names. I'm sorry. No offense. Okay, no okay. offense. No offense. It's some guy who's making a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, I should okay. tell that. I think him. it was Carl <laughs> who did the podcast. Uh, with Crimson. Yeah, yeah, Crimson, Crimson, Crimson. Okay, I'm sorry, Crimson. I'm sorry for this. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, Crimson. Grind, buddy, I know you're making money, okay, but not everyone is uh, is kidded like that. That's too late for you. You you fall into that boomer category with Mark. <laughs> I'm an Amy boomer now. 
Oh, a, no. a and B boomer. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are you working something right now? Am I working on something? Uh, yeah. Yes, I am. I'm working on a Darling in the Franks AMV. And I'm working on a few MEP parts. Uh, one for D-Gang, I believe. And the other oh. is a collab with Rust. It was... That wasn't the type of work I was asking for, although I'm happy that you gave me this answer. <laughs> oh, you was, mean like uh, yeah, working? I'm still, no, I, I'm still I, back I quit my the... job recently. I was working at Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, ooh. I was, I was, let, me, I was, let me some I donuts. Was... Hold up, buddy. I'll let you have a piece of my donut. You don't know what I mean. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hold up, buddy. I think most of the people take this for granted but given your accent you live in america right yes i i do live in america yes I, I uh, are you america. american though i uh i'm not sure i i consider myself american because i was raised here but oh. i'm not sure what people consider american uh, i consider myself an american though because i, I am a citizen uh-huh okay okay i wasn't born here but i i do consider myself american yes uh so where were you born from uh, I well, was born in. Uh, <laughs> it's a funny story, actually. Um, so my family is from Pakistan, but I was born in uh, Saudi Arabia because my family was living there for like two years or something. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, so I was born there, and uh, <laughs> so it's really hard to explain like where I'm from <laughs> because I'm, I'm you know I I grew up in Pakistan as well, and then for, since I was six, I grew up in America. But I just been being, going back and forth between countries. So. I don't know where you, I'm from anymore. Have you actually met any Pakistani editors? I other online, than yourself? online, yeah. yes, I yes, I have. Uh, oh, really? There's this guy named Payne, and uh, I think uh, Ko- you know Konoha Ambu. Konoha Ambu, mm, not really. He, you might have seen him in servers, but uh, is he, yeah, is he's he some also from Pakistan. Naruto suicide. No, boys. no, he he's, he he's he edits like a normal editor, but he's I don't know his uh, name is very Naruto. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I'm asking because, like, I don't know. I live in Eastern Europe, right? And there are not really many editors from here. So I was asking if you had the same oh, experience. There, I thought there was actually... Well, there's not a lot of Pakistani editors. No, uh, definitely yeah, yeah. not. Okay, okay. Um, I was, but I was asking I for. Actually, actually, there are... Uh, you know, it's funny you say that because I think there are a lot of Bulgarian editors. We have, Me. like, about a... Three or four of them in a fadi. <laughs> <laughs> we love okay. our Bulgarian. Bulgaria, Bulgaria taking over a fadi. Okay, sure. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have most of the Bulgarian editor population. I mean, these <laughs> are the only Bulgarian editors and Misha included. <laughs> that being genetics. I mean, genetics. There, I'm sure there are other Bulgarian editors in the different parts of the community. I, I think. Well, uh, Hash in was YouTube, me about in YouTube, not not really. No, we Hash, have. Hash was telling me about a certain Bulgarian team. Uh, a certain Bulgarian team. That. Uh, yeah, yeah. Isn't that the team Pesh has? I, mean, I, I think so. Yeah. yeah I am in wrong. that team. Okay. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just me, um, Dream, Coco, some other people. Oh, Coco is also Bulgarian. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I love Coco, man. Yeah, I don't like my boy. I don't like homophobia. So. Yeah. Oh, hold up. <laughs> I don't like that aspect about him. <laughs> I like okay, how he's okay. brave in his opinion. He's not afraid of what people think, and he's yeah. Uh, okay, that's that's respectable. That's respectable. I respect his grind, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now now back to you editing. When yep. did you start actually? It's it's uh weird because I started AMVs pretty late, but I I started making uh AMV uh, not uh-huh. AMVs uh, editing videos uh since I was nine actually. Uh, oh, I used to oh, edit so... this RPG game called AQ Worlds. Uh, and then I did that up until what? Two, it, it's called AQ Worlds. Uh, Adventure Quest Worlds is. Oh, cool oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, I did that up until uh, I think I think like late 2014 where I just completely moved on to AMVs. Mm-hmm. Um, you know Ar- Ar- Arceus or Armand? Armand? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ar- Armand. from like Suppy Studios, Arceus. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I so he he used to play AQ Rolls with me back in the day, and um, uh, he showed me like AMVs back in like 2011, and I kind of always wanted to go there. I didn't go there until like 2014, and but he's the reason why I'm oh, AMVs right wait. now. How did you get to know Armin beforehand? Did he you was meet playing online? AQ World. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, so you He's actually been... made friends with him through Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's 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 sick. That's I dope. know, that is, that's a crazy story. That's quite cute. I never thought that you yeah. and Armin would be close. Oh, we were hella close back in the day. 
You know, he, he, and I still respect him a lot. I still respect him a lot. Okay, okay. I remember you popping out of pretty much nowhere. <laughs> some random guy named Ivory some, came in and joined dude. Sippy Studios. You know uh, who uh, Mike added me to Sippy Studios? There was a studio called Amits. And uh, from there, Mike was in that studio. Uh, uh-huh. For whatever reason. <laughs> but uh, he added me from there to Sippy Studios. And that's where I met most of my friends. Uh, me Marvin. Yes, you included, definitely. <laughs> uh, Mar- I met Marvin. I met Will. And then eventually through Marvin, I met uh, Lewis and Marty. And that's how uh, mm-hmm. we started Team of Friday. Okay, okay. Uh, why did you actually um, start editing KMVs? I mean, I know you said, that, oh, he showed me some edits and that inspired me. But I don't know. Why okay, did you stop uh, doing the AQ Worlds editing? First of all, AQ Worlds died. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Not the game, but the whole community. You cannot find AMVs anymore that are new. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. AQW AMVs. I'm sorry. That's 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 what they're called. Uh, <laughs> 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 but I started AMVs because I always liked the anime art style. Um, like I got into anime pretty late, I think as well. Um, oh, so but I really they... liked the art style. So I there was always a, a aspect of me wanting to do AMVs, and uh, there's obviously a much bigger community, and it's much harder to uh, please people in the AMV community. I feel like because. It's, uh, there's there's a lot of competition. I uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, okay. I, I like I like uh, I I think that was just the next step of me, as an editor. Okay. Um. Did you have an idol when you started editing? Well, not an idol, but someone who really aspired you, someone who you looked up to. Okay. Like- I've had I've had many editors that I think are good. I don't think I've idolized anyone because I feel like if you idolize someone, you you're always in their shadow somehow i don't know i i've always had that conception mm-hmm. but i i would say that i i uh bounce from in from inspiration to inspiration my first would be as i said our and then i would i got in suppy studios and then it really changed i don't remember who i was inspired by back in the day but right now i would say uh exasius um marvin as well right now he's he's killing it um yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know much. Uh, I don't really think about that stuff too much. But I would, I would also say Haru. Yeah, the, Haru. The, these are the people who consistently inspire me. Yeah. But didn't Haru start editing in like 2012 or whatever? I, I think so. I wasn't, I wasn't around. Uh, oh yeah, 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 exactly. You said 2014, sure. Yeah, yeah. Wait, that makes that makes six years. So you've been editing yep. for six years now. AMVs for six years, but <laughs> yeah. editing in general for even more. Okay. Okay. Sure. So, like, I started normal. Like, I mean, just editing in 2009. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I guess you're just doing it for fun, right? Like, sort yeah, of I mean, I really you. don't have too much time because of university. Yeah. Uh, I really like to... Um, the, the reason why I edit is because I want to move people emotionally. I, I, don't, I know it sounds cheesy, but uh, <laughs> uh, there was, like, an editor in two, two, uh, 2009. Uh, his name was Katha. Uh, he inspired Gorz's video suspension of disbelief. Back in the day, he was an insane editor, and there was an interview, and people asked him, "Um, what do you want to uh, accomplish as an editor?" And the the thing he said, he wants to uh move people emotionally, the ability to make people feel emotion. There is nothing uh greater than that to him, and uh, I thought that was pretty inspiring because he was a super technical mm-hmm. editor. He did a shit ton of crazy effects for his time. And yeah. he, he thought that was his main purpose in editing. And that kind of inspired my uh, approach towards editing. Yeah, okay, that's that's nice. Given that you're not, like, I don't know, losing your mind over it, I think you will be <laughs> able to accomplish that pretty easily because if you get stressed yeah. about it, then it gets kind of difficult. At least right. that's what I think sure. about this. Uh, okay, yeah, it's, okay. It's, it's okay. Um, <laughs> so... Is there any piece of advice you would like to give someone that's getting into editing? Okay, this I, I like this question. <laughs> I would say that um the the main thing you can do for yourself is not be afraid of failure. Uh-huh. Uh, I feel like a lot of people uh get hurt by what people say to them when they're coming in, and then and a lot of people like to talk shit. I would say most people don't want you to succeed. I don't know why it's like that, but it is like that. Uh. Don't let it get to you, man. Um, it's okay if you fail. It's okay if you don't make a good video, if you get a bad response, or or you don't execute some effect you wanted to f- choose. But don't be afraid of failing, man, because 
if you keep trying without fear of failure, you will reach potentials that you can't even imagine. And I'm, I'm telling you, this is the way to improve is take risks, take creative risks, mm-hmm. try to observe videos that you think are great, learn from them. Don't steal it, but take what you like and kind of merge it into your own style, really. Um, you know, someone said that if, if you steal from one person, you're, you're a thief. But if you steal from 100 people, you're an artist. Uh, yeah. And I, I like that quote. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I, that, that's the advice. Don't be afraid of failing, man. It's I really needed okay. some dollar advice five years ago. <laughs> I, I get it now. I'm still happy I got it. Yeah. A little bit too late, though. <laughs> yeah, I okay. think it was pretty late for me as well. I mean, you, there's no one tells you this. You just figure it out along the way. Mm-hmm. But it's really valuable. Do your parents actually know that you're doing A and V? Like I, they anime, don't do anything? AMVs. They they couldn't be less concerned though. <laughs> well, they're, I don't know. Okay. I, they're I okay just... with them. Pardon? They they're okay with it. Uh, uh, they, oh, no, they it's just not that care. if they're they know. against it or not. It's just that okay. I don't know. When I was when I was younger, I used to like show some of my stuff to my mom because I was happy that they made something, <laughs> and she was happy for me too. So I'm asking if you have this kind of a relationship with your parents. Uh, I, I don't think I do. They're <laughs> okay, I've okay. shown them my work, but I don't think they really care. Uh, okay. But uh, I, I think my siblings kind of care. Uh, but, you know, they're okay with me doing it. Um, they don't really... I, but, I don't think it's their interest, though. Do your friends know that you're editing? Uh, I don't tell my friends that I edit, no. Um, oh, oh, really? I, I, there's Why? one IRL friend that knows I edit AMVs. I showed him some of my work as well. He, oh. he likes it. Are you trying to keep it a secret or just that it doesn't... I don't know. Right. Um, I would say definitely at the start, I was trying to keep it a secret. But right now, I don't care because uh-huh. I don't really care what people's opinion of me is anymore. I used to care about that a lot in the past. But it's just that I don't think they would really be interested. I would just be like, oh, look at me, like, uh, make uh, AMVs, buddy. I'm going to flex on you with my uh, videos. <laughs> I just want to make, I don't want to sound arrogant or anything. So that's why I don't. Oh, okay. So, wait, you said that you didn't, you cared about other people's opinions. So does that mean that, I don't know, you got made fun of if they knew that you were editing anime or Japanese uh, cartoons. Think maybe in Japanese high school. Cartoons. I'm maybe in high school, but I think uh, now that I'm in university, people just uh, really don't care that much. Okay. okay. I, I think back in high school, definitely, if you said you were uh, watching anime, people would uh, poke fun of you. Oh. <laughs> they, okay, they, okay. I would. I remember that I would. I be. I would be in high school, and I would make fun of kids for watching anime, and, and in the in the in the, in the meanwhile, I was editing animes at home. So, <laughs> I thought that was pretty uh, funny. Yo, Dala, I, I you've been like a that. snake for, for Bro, quite a while. I've been snake. You, you've I've been, been a snake been since the origin. Hold up. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can't, like, you know it's in my blood, buddy. What the hell? Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> I have, I, I was born in the snake. Hold up. I thought that he's done, so we have a snake as a leader. <laughs> Hold up, buddy. I'm making everyone a snake. Hold up. <laughs> Where, I, I'm trying to save it in my own way by making everyone else a snake. Okay, okay. <laughs> um... Actually, uh, you said you don't really mind. You don't really mind what you're selling right now. Do you have any long-term goals? Goals? I want to make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you, you're all about that, that cash money AP. Yeah, but I'm not doing shit for it, but I, 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 will, I will start it when I get a little more time. Oh. Only, from only, studying, only money? That's, that's kind of boring. Like, uh, I don't know. Do I, don't I have know. other goals? I just want to keep editing, really. I really like editing. And I want to keep gaming with the bros. That's that's just what I like in life. Fortnite. Uh, that's, that's my goal. Money editing. Uh, Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just edit Fortnite? Oh, hell no, nah, buddy. I don't like Fortnite that much. Uh, <laughs> have you actually edited any games except for AQ, AQ Adventure I, Quest I have Pro? edited Call of Duty way back in the day, but I don't think I was too good at it. Uh, you just uh, but you don't, I, you don't I, feel I, it? Uh, I don't I I I I don't know how to word this, <laughs> but I would say that I like Call of Duty editing, but it's just not where my uh, passion. Is. Yeah, it's not it's not for you. You like watching it though. I really like watching Call of Duty. I just I think they're pretty amazing. It's just that uh they lack um kind of the scene selection uh aspect that Amy's have that I really uh-huh. like. So okay I, okay yeah. Respectable. 
Um, do you have any other hobbies uh, except for except for editing? Uh, yeah, I game a lot. I play a lot of Tekken. Uh, it's a fighting game. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was pretty good at it for a while. I've I've not I've been slacking as of recently. I mean, but, uh, <laughs> we we got that part with the gaming. We got a part with the editing. Do you do I something like IRL else? or you just prefer being a neat? Uh, I actually I hang out with my friends uh, every month uh, from high school. Every, every month. <laughs> every once a month. Oh. Uh, yeah. Aside from that, yeah, I'm pretty much a shut in. I don't know. Shut in. Oh, feels Ooh. bad, man. Bro, if I was if I was in the same town as you were, we'd hang we out be, every day. We, we'd be balling every day. Yeah, yeah every yeah, goddamn so. day. I don't know, man. I I think I'm kind of introverted. Um, in IRL. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yep. Hopefully not. Just do be like that. <laughs> it just do be like that, Pax. So, Tala, what about <laughs> your love life? Uh, pretty dead right now. Yeah. Are you? Uh, <laughs> let me let me get this <laughs> straight. Are you straight? I am straight. Yes, I I'm uh, not 100%. gay. percent. I am under. I am one hundred percent straight. <laughs> even though it. my my words my word. Oh, hold up. My words <laughs> might not lead you to believe that I'm straight. Um. I would say <laughs> so. It, it's it's a little complicated. Um, I can't have much of a love life because my uh, parents are pretty strict, uh, and oh, they're so Muslim, and it's not it's not like like loud. Yeah. But so like, I mean, a religious a, family. It's like yeah. So if okay, I okay. if I do like um get a girlfriend, like how what am I gonna tell her? If you can't let my uh, parents find out, or I'm gonna get disowned. I can't see your ankles. <laughs> oh no. I can't was, see your ankles, yeah. That was kind of... I, I can see you, but just wear a hijab, bro. Cover those oh. eyes. Okay. How <laughs> and they, your face, bro. How they giving you a deadline when you should be married? Uh, no, because they haven't. Have... I'm glad they haven't. Oh, oh okay, haven't. okay. That's, that's great. That's I don't, don't want to get married soon. I wanna, as, like, like I said previously, I want to I wanna make a lot of money. I just yeah. don't know how yet. I will do it eventually. <laughs> True. Plugging a fadik in AMV Zone podcast. Do you have this one, Chess? Are you going to <laughs> use it? Uh, plug, plug in. Yes, I will plug a fadik. Even though we had a whole conversation, how we don't want to get subscribers off. Other people's I don't channels. know what you're talking but about. But I think I think we have to up, do it for that Marty. Never happened. I have to do it for Marty, man. Marty yeah. is the homie, and he deserves all the all the subs and the likes. So uh, check out a fadik if you like it. You could uh, you could subscribe and stick around. Yeah, we're we're accepting recruits, but only if we vibe with you. As the as the uh, whole, one rule. If you, if you got good vibes only. Yeah, you can be good vibes only. big babiza when it comes down to editing. But if we if we vibe, you will. <laughs> oh my, bro, we're this gonna be on an official podcast and we're making fun of Bizo. I feel bad, dude. He Bizo is a homie, man. Yeah, Bizu, Bizu is an OG. He deserves to be in here. Unlike Russ, Russ was a little little snake, buddy. Russ just likes to spit in people's mouths back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm getting messages from NASA. They want me to ask you about um how you started to edit <laughs> and precisely what program did you use? I, I as I said, I edited in eighth world and I used uh, Sony Vegas from the start, which I'm proud of actually, um, <laughs> because a lot of my friends started off on Windows Movie Maker back in the day. <laughs> but I'm like, none of that, not none of that bro shit on me, buddy. I, I knew how to crack since I was nine. Hold up. <laughs> oh yeah, so, yeah. Crimson, Crimson had this issue. I remember. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> he started on uh, uh No, no, maker? he. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no, no. That was Patton, I think. You know, I don't know. Um, my memory is bad. My memory is bad. I'm sorry. That's okay, dude. I take that back. I take that back. Yeah. No disrespect to Pan or Crimson. So, but <laughs> wait, are you still using Sony Vegas? Yes, I still use Sony Vegas. Oh, really? With After Effects. Oh, With okay. Effects. Okay, okay. Because I, so... I tried Premiere, but that's just not for me, man. I don't like the velocity on there. Uh huh. Yeah, I remember I like trying velocity, it. it didn't so. work out. I remember <laughs> I like you, velocity, so. your map parts for Marty's map last year was yeah, really yeah. smooth. So I was like, wait. Thank you. Is he yeah, still no, no, no. I, yeah, on the Sony it, Vegas? I, no, no, I don't do that Sony Vegas. I know okay. you can make stuff really smooth. And I've seen people make stuff really smooth with Vegas. Uh-huh. I just don't know how. Well, I just do it with a... Back in the day, there was this one Bulgarian editor that used to say, 
Um, you don't was need he, After Effects because was he Crum? <laughs> no, no, Crum, Crum was shit. Crum was bad. Okay, okay. Can't be Crum, but he said that um, you shouldn't use After Effects unless you can do the same things in Vegas. You should just use it to save time. Well, yes, that was like. Eight I think years that was ago. the worst of, uh, advice you can give anyone. Why would you learn something when you can do it easily in a better program? I mean, he was quite <laughs> he was quite arrogant, but I really liked the way he phrased it in Bulgarian. I can't really translate it in English. I feel like he what he wanted you to do was uh, have a good uh, b- uh, set of yeah, basics. Yeah, exactly. To build exactly. Upon. So I, I feel the... like he wanted to, uh, I guess, uh, give good advice, which is that um, make sure you have good basics and then you can go for the more advanced stuff so it doesn't look mm-hmm. wonky when you're trying it. I mean, uh, I probably didn't do the greatest job when it came down to translating because like, Bulgarian is No, no, weird. I, I, I can't... I, can, I, uh, I, I can yeah, understand. yeah. Uh, you but, probably... You might know him, actually. His name is Mishokun, and right now he's awful. He's probably Mishikun. one of the worst... Oh, new, Mishokun. Oh, new what the gens hell, bro? Or old bro, gens, he, he, followed, he probably followed his own advice then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back in the day, back in the day, that being like... 2009, 2010. I he barely, was, I, I'll be honest, I, I've barely seen Misha Kun's videos. Yeah, I've only seen a few. Better, I, better like for you. You, you I like, I that. liked, uh, I don't know what his name was, M E T X 96. <laughs> I like his flash style. I like the flash style, I'll be honest. Like uh, <laughs> Carla and stuff like that. Uh, Mora 3000. I like that stuff, buddy. Okay, okay. Mm. Lewis, yeah, our, our boy Lewis as well. He's, he's good at this stuff. Well, and the thing is, I tried to ask him about about that. He said he's a shut in. Who is? Oh. No, no he, Alan told me to ask you about your other interests aside from oh, school, okay. editing, and gaming. And you're pretty much a shut in. Yeah, you... I watch anime. I watch. Mo- I like movies as of recent. Oh, you you, watching... you into movies? Yes, uh, not too much, but I I'm trying to get into it now. Uh, I really like. So, I took this uh, course. I've taken a lot of uh, editing electives in college. Uh-huh. Well, not a lot, like three. But uh, there, there's a course I took in cinema, and I took a course in Premiere as well. And oh. and they talk about um, th- this thing is uh, it's called juxtaposition, where uh, one frame, uh, when you match it with the next frame, it can change the meaning of the video. So they they did an experiment back in the day where it was the same uh, clip of a guy, but the next clip was all different things and one of them was like the same guy and the other guy was uh the other clip was the girl and then the same guy clip and the other clip was food and then they asked people what they thought about these clips and then they all said wow he's such a wonderful actor you can see how in love with the girl he is and the other people like oh he's such a good actor you can see how hungry he is so (laughs) really how you play scenes together actually uh creates a lot of meaning and this is like the basis of most movies Mm-hmm. And that's why I'm getting more into movies. Uh, right now, my favorite would be uh, Mr. Nobody. I really like that movie. Mr. It was Nobody. so trippy. Yeah, it's 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 kind of it's kind of not for everyone, but I really liked it. Wait, why not? Because it's such a weird concept. It's like psychedelic, and you can I oh. I, I think you can understand why people some okay, people okay. don't like that. If it doesn't make sense, they don't like it. But uh, I it, like like psychedelic stuff, so I might check it out just for you. It's it, check it out, man. Trust me, it's a good movie. Okay, uh, it's, it will it's, do. It's starting do. Jared Leto, and I, I like Jared Leto. I've got no clue who that is. But That's the okay. lead singer of uh, 30 Seconds to Mars. He's also an actor. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, he's, he's, I, all he's I know about man, him right? is that he's an emo. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> he used to be an emo. He's, he's, he's out of that emo shell now. I also like <laughs> Jack Queen Phoenix. Uh, I've, I've seen his movie Her, and that was really good. Uh, there's another movie I saw. I think it was called The Master. The Master. He's, yeah, he's, it's such a weird movie, but I, I his his acting always carries the movie. So, uh huh. I really like Jack and Phoenix. So. Okay, okay. Um, so we got what your favorite movie is. Yes. What about your favorite anime? My favorite anime. This is a tricky. Uh. And I'm going to get a lot of shit for this. Okay, okay. Let's stop making favorite give, I'll, anime. I'll, I'll top give a three. List, top three animes. List of top five, okay? Top five. Okay, sure. Top five. Uh, you could make it top ten. Anime slash ma- manga. Anime slash, slash manga. Okay, okay, um, sure. 
I liked Helsing. Helsing, Helsing? was very good. Uh huh. Yeah. I like Berserk. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one I'm gonna get shit for. I like Guilty Crown a lot because I watched. It was one of my first animes, and it really uh got me into anime. So I, I like remember Guilty seeing you edit it. Yes, I did edit Guilty Crown. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I'll, think it's probably on list now, but it was I'm not a big crazy. fan of Guilty Crown myself, but sure. Okay, okay. So Berserk, <laughs> Helsing, Guilty Crown, two more. Oh, two more. Shit. I like Darker Than Black a lot, and it's it, it was such a. I feel like for the most part it was such a boring anime, but at the end they just all connected. And I like that a lot. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else did I like? I have one more choice, and then like, yeah, last one. I'll last I'll, one. I'll say actually a recent one. Uh, Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga was amazing. Vinland Saga. It was, it was so good. Oh. Dude. Have you seen it? Well, no. A lot of people say that it's nice. It's just that it doesn't seem appealing to me because I'm not a big fan of history, and it's kind of I don't know Vikings related. Something. Oh, uh, yeah, I I can understand that. You well, know, it's kind of boring to me. Just it's just the way. Uh, you know, I I I got suggested by a friend who said it was really good, and I I wasn't gonna look into it myself unless I got that suggestion. So that's probably what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can I can see why people won't like it because you know who gives a shit about the past, buddy. We're trying to okay. we're trying to yeah okay, trying okay. To live in the present, but it's very well written and. All the characters are really likable, except especially the main character. Uh-huh. And actually, the villain is pretty likable as well. I don't want to spoil anything, but if you if you want, you should give it a try. Uh, I'll probably skip on that. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I no, this is really fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, favorite. Wait, what about you? Wait, what kind? What type of music do you like? Shit, I like. I like rock. I, I kind of like, I don't, I'm very bad with genres, right? But I like rock. I like Japanese music. I mm-hmm. like. So J rock? Yeah, J rock. And I, I like, I guess, sad songs a lot. I really like sad songs, bro. I don't know. Sad boys. Best. Sad boys. Sad boys squad. Sad boys squad. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, oh, you- I do like, yeah, I, I like a lot of genres. Uh, I think the only genre I wouldn't like that I can name right now would be country. Uh, aside from country. That, I actually like some country <laughs> songs as well. It depends on who sings it. If they if it doesn't sound country, then it's fine. But if you don't like country, how do you wait? Why do why don't you like it? Is it the accent? I feel like the theme of most country songs and the tone of the song is not very appealing to me. Yeah, we, we gotta get Marty that's to sing for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, life. You know, Marty said he also hates country, so that was a no. This can't be true. There's, there's a bit of the disappointment, you know. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's true. Maybe in his heart he likes. He's the lying. He's lying. Country. He's putting up a facade. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I need Marty to speak the truth right now. Buddy. He wants to stop getting shaded on. Oh, he yeah, he just doesn't want that country hate no more. <laughs> he doesn't want to be represented by his yeehaw. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out something. We're, we're pretty much over the list. That's it. We're 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 pretty far into the podcast as well. I think it's been 35 minutes. So you can ask me dumb questions now. It's okay. Dumb, dumb questions now. Okay, dumb. <laughs> just, fa- just dumb question that. number one. Favorite waifus. Favorite waifus. Okay, yeah. buddy. I'm I'm ready for this one, buddy. First is Oscar Langley. Hold up. Oscar. Uh, I, no. <laughs> I will not. I will not tolerate this. Hold up. Why, I will why not, not tolerate like this better, in my buddy? show. No, like no. Ray? I like Mike Uh, Mike Nami. Who was that? Um, yeah, that. Uh, that chick that comes in the second movie, Eva. Oh, 2. the glass. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. also. I'll be yeah, honest. Yeah. She's also wife. She is also wife for sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wife of material. Okay, you were spinning facts. Okay, I was. I was out there. Okay, uh, so we're sitting on Makinami. Okay, listen, I know I said I'm not gay, but uh, Juzo dressed as a girl, that's pretty hot. Whoa! Who? Who? Like, J- Juzo from Tokyo Ghoul? Juzo? Uh, <laughs> you, you never seen Tokyo, Tokyo Ghoul? Wait, uh, was that guy with the... Wait, yeah, is yeah. it a guy? Wait, yep. hold on. Hold <laughs> on, no, no. Hold on, no, hold on no. buddy, hold on. Are you lying? As, as a, as Are you girl, playing buddy. me? Listen to me, I'm not gay. But I just like women so much that I I would uh, like anything that looks like one. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, so okay, uh, number one waifu. Okay, no, <laughs> number one waifu. Last chance. Okay. Last chance. I had a last chance. Number one waifu. We didn't make a list. I just wanted number one waifu. I would say. Can I say it from a game? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. I would say Oscar from Tekken Seven. Oscar. Okay. 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 Respect. Because I made, I just made her as a fighting character. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I feel like we've gotten to know a lot about each other. <laughs> okay, 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 sure. Now, oh, 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 uh, oh, oh, back oh, 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 to dumb oh. question number two. Okay. Most cringiest thing you've seen in the AMV community? Um, I've actually tried to filter most of that shit out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> most cringe. I would say uh, Berserker AMV is my life AMV. <laughs> that shit was wild, buddy. Hold Excuse up. Excuse me. Man, this man was posting personal information about his ex girlfriend <laughs> online. <laughs> oh, okay. That's kind of that's kind of creepy, not just cringy. Yeah, and I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to say too much because I don't know about this Mercer guy. I don't know him personally. Uh -huh. I, damn, I have heard some rumors, and I don't want to get involved. Hold up. Yeah, well, you gotta you gotta link with this after we we're done with this. <laughs> right. okay, okay. I'll let you. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll let you know the details. I gotta check. I gotta check. <laughs> you gotta peep this information. Okay, so dumb Was question number three. Research? Thoughts okay. on the new breed of young AMV editors? You know, uh, I don't like the Shakes or the Twixter, but I like that they're approaching stuff more creatively and artistically than uh, previous editors. I, I think they're taking a lot of risks. And even though, I mean, obviously new editors are always going to be arrogant and stuff, but I feel like I I I feel like the future of the AME community might be really interesting because it's it's so different than it's like I feel like this new generation is so different than any of the previous generations. I feel like they can do great things and and they're attempting some really sick effects as well. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if if they hone their craft, we'll see a lot of good AMEs. I, I definitely think they're learning faster than ever as well. Okay, and I'm, true. I'm 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 proud of the new community. It's all thanks to the. Uh, more uh, editing academy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't know which uh, what do you call it? Which which uh, generation you're talking about? But I'm talking about like I think most of the new editors are well, around like, twelve to sixteen stuff. years old, maybe older, younger. I don't know. Like yeah, people who um, just get into editing, no, right? No, but there's so many communities. Like there's so much communities of new editors. Uh, there's very little like uh more three thousand style editors now. <laughs> it's more like Call of Duty editors, or Vine editors. This is shifting yeah, okay. to uh, that, that's that's what I was true. focusing on. I feel like if they hone their craft, they can do well. They, mm -hmm. I I don't like uh I don't like their execution, but I I think I'm glad they're taking risks like that. I feel like they're gonna make some great things if they if they don't give up on their style. Okay, okay. Now as as the leader of the giant team of Odic. And the, the corporate team of Yeah, the, the corporate the, team of Odic. The corporate uh, What monster. do you think about uh, collaboration between Kraus, uh, Team Kraus and Afadic on the map project? You know, I actually like Kraus team a lot. A lot of my close friends are from Kraus team. And uh, I'd be down for that. I'm not sure if they will. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I, I'm very close with a lot of pros. Maybe. Aren't we and just I, a group I, of nobodies to them? No, I don't think so. They actually know well, us. Well, I am, well, but because... yeah, not you. Maybe. No, I don't think <laughs> Maybe. Hold up, buddy. You were editing a Legend right now, buddy. You were... yeah, I, yeah, I don't know about that one, but the, they you say for me, it's about monster. you, so... You know, no, I think I, they, I think a lot of people like you're editing. You're, you're killing it right now. But I, I would say that... um. Crows is one of the teams that I really like outside our own team. <laughs> uh -huh. I like Crows and I like Karasu right now. I think Karasu. those are my favorite teams right now. Uh, I'm not like too much into editing, so I don't like very specific teams. You're here for the I drama. Feel like, oh, I'm here for yeah. I'm for I'm here for the tea, buddy. I'm about to oh, okay. mm, hold my, up. I'm, you, a, I'm you about to mistaken. get my fangs out, buddy. I'm about <laughs> to get my fangs out. Hold up. <laughs> You hide them, hide them. You can't do this in front of the mic. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. It's, it's a joke. I'm joking, I'm joking. It's, okay, okay. Unless. Hold Are on. You... No, no furries. No furries allowed. No furries. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> not even a joke, buddy. Get the hell out of my face. <laughs> no, that, that so, in the near future, Chaos Sephardic Map is most likely not happening. <laughs> is that well, it? I, I don't think 
there it's I don't think the future seems bright for that right now. But uh, yeah, okay. If I mean if they're down, I, I mean uh, I'll okay, just, we'll just we'll keep grinding. Down. Eventually, we'll make it work out. We'll make it work out. You know, I'll 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 I'll, I'll convince Chris. You know, <laughs> I'll play more Apex with him. To, uh, okay. Get him to <laughs> okay. Get on my side. Wait, do we have <laughs> any goals for twenty twenty? As an Aphotic goes wanna, for Aphotic in twenty twenty. Goals for Aphotic. I have a lot Map of goals with for Team Crabs. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not one of my goals, really. My goals with Aphotic is that everyone pursues their own creative vision. It's not about making maps. And I, I didn't... You always used to have this vision, but thanks to talking with some people, I, I know it's not as important to have maps. It's more important that I encourage my editors uh, of my team to pursue their creative uh, individualities. And I, I feel like Aphotic is a place where we can merge all of them. I think that's really dope. Mm -hmm. So I just want them... I really... My main goal for Aphotic is... Uh, enjoy yourself. <laughs> really, I want. I want them. I want people to feel comfortable in the team. I want we, people we to are, feel we are. welcome. Yeah. No, I don't, uh, I don't actually, want, I don't want you... this team to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. no continue. Continue. Uh, I said uh, I don't want this uh, team to feel under any pressure from uh, the team or the brand that they should edit in a specific way. Just follow your own thing and, and continue what you were asking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that you mentioned it, actually. Like a lot of teams nowadays just don't do maps that often. They're mostly just chilling, occasionally <laughs> doing a map or two in a year, and that's it. You know, yeah. You know what I think about that is I think that's not really due to map culture or team culture changing. I just think the community, the old community, is getting older. Yeah, yeah. It's they're dying off and they don't really <laughs> edit too much. Oh uh, yeah, this, this is just what it is. Uh, they don't edit too much and yeah. you know they just. One time they're like, oh, for nostalgia, let's just make an MEP. <laughs> and it's, I think it's harder now to make MEPs that are good and impress people because, you know, I feel like the community is getting high up in standards. So uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, the, it, the there's a many part. factor. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. There's many factors. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you have any personal goals for 2020? Personal goals. Uh, yeah. I want to get more into motion graphics and I want to program more. I want to program a lot I, so I could. Uh, you get know, money. Get more into community. Yeah, more into computer science. Make mm -hmm. money. Yeah, I want to get Man, into make uh, money. Making money as well, buddy. I'm all about that bread. Facts. No more Dunkin' <laughs> Donuts. We no all more Dunkin' selling, Donuts, buddy. We all here selling now, now donut I own kebab. Dunkin' Donuts. Hold up. Donut. Oh yeah, donut, donut kebab. kebab. Bro, yeah. I had a donut kebab the other day. I was thinking about you, bro. Sick. Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fuck her up, buddy. If someone hears that shit, I'm out of the household. Anyways, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyways, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm putting you through a lot of stress right now. It's okay, man. I perform well under pressure. <laughs> Sometimes I faint, though. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, right. Okay. Well, is don't that it? They're good, yes. Don't, Anything don't you want to say to the crowd? What do I want to say to the crowd? Okay, uh, I would say that, you know, uh, follow your dreams, buddy. Don't let no one take your deep dreams away from you is that a shout out to martin uh, because he's getting old or what <laughs> hold up buddy he's not old he's only 42 hold up he's Yo, young he's wait young wait wait, wait hold on hold, hold up on. hold up. oh whoa oh i meant i meant 23 hold up sorry slip of the tongue so, <laughs> so no no shout out for marty i want to shout out marty for being a good friend and uh, okay shout out to and, all uh, of her father and putting in the work for uh, jimmy jimmy's i think he's working on Oh, okay. shout, definitely shout out to Aphotic. Uh, I will, I will, I will get the list of all Aphotic members. Hold up. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. we, no, we no, don't I'm have joking, the time I'm for joking. this. We don't have I'm, the time I'm for joking, this. I'm joking. I'm joking. Last words. Okay, last words. Um, yeah, thank you for listening to my podcast. If you guys uh liked it, thank you for that as well. If you didn't like it, I mean, I hope you like the next one. <laughs> he's a he's a cutie pie. So if you wanna if you wanna face with him, he's open. His DMs Hold always up. are open. Yo, my DMs are open. You, you can meet me up on Tinder, buddy. Hold up. Yeah. <laughs> Mo Mo Muslim Tinder. Hold up. Okay, well, <laughs> <Not> thank <laughs> you. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to, right. for another episode of AMV Zone podcast. Thank you for uh, this opportunity for me to talk on this podcast. Happy New Year's, even though it's a little Happy bit late. Uh, we'll see you next time. All right, see you guys. Take it easy.